Hello everyone and welcome back to Cradle Roll Samba School. I hope you're all well. It's lovely to see you all. And we are now in a new month. We are in the month of February. So we have a new programme and a new story for this month. I hope that you enjoy worshipping with us wherever you are in the world. And thank you for tuning in again and joining us in our Sabbath school. Let's start our programme together. Have you got something at home that makes a really, really loud noise? Do you have something at home that makes a really, really loud noise? I've got something here that makes a really, really loud noise. Do you want to see what it is? How about you listen and you tell me what it is? Have a listen. What makes this noise? Have you worked it out yet? What makes that noise? I know what makes that noise. They're my Sabbath bells. I like to ring these on a Sabbath morning to let the whole world know that it's Sabbath. It's our special day. Now, at home, do you have anything that makes a noise like this? Do you have any bells at home? Why don't you go find them? Then we can ring our Sabbath bells together. Go find them. Do you have anything? Do you have something that makes a loud ringing noise at my bells? Fantastic. Well, let's sing Ring-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Ready? Good job! I'm sure you rang your bells really loudly. But if you were to ring them even louder, maybe I'd be able to hear them from where I am. And that would mean the whole world has heard your bells. How about you go and get your bells again? Let's ring them really loudly this time. Are you ready? definitely heard your bells that time so the whole world must have heard your sabbath bells very good job everyone let's put our bells away so that we can go and do something else now can you think of something that god has made god made so many wonderful things he made us he made the animals he made the world so many wonderful things. But there's something really beautiful that you can see in the sky sometimes. You can see it when it's raining and sunny at the same time. Can you think what I'm talking about? Is it something very colorful, very pretty? In fact, I think it's a beautiful rainbow. Can you see my gorgeous rainbow with all the lovely pretty colours? They're very pretty, aren't they? Now I'm sure at home you've got something very colourful like this. I have my own rainbows that we made for Cradle Roll. I'm going to wave these around and we're going to sing Who Made the Beautiful Rainbow? So go and find something colourful and let's sing our song together. Are you ready? Have you got something colourful? Then let's sing. Who made the beautiful rainbow? I know, I know. God made the beautiful rainbow. That's why I love him so. Good job. Wasn't that wonderful? So many pretty colors. Now I think it would be a good idea that we all stand up and we can walk around the room with our pretty colours. Let's sing again. Who made the beautiful rainbow? I know, I know. God made the beautiful rainbow. That's why I love him so. Oh, so many 
colours just like the rainbow God made. Well done on finding something so colourful. Now we have many things that make up our body. We have feet, we have hands, we have a head, we have shoulders, lots of things that make up our body. But can you make any of those things make a noise? Try and think, how can we make a noise with the things that God gave us on our bodies? What if you take your hands and you clap? Oh, good job. Can you clap really loudly for me? Wow. Good job. Because I have hands that clap, clap, clap. Because they were made by Jesus. Let's sing, I have hands that clap, clap, clap. And I want to hear you clap really loudly. Ready? I have hands that clap, clap, clap. I have hands that clap, clap, clap. I have hands that clap, clap, clap. They were made by Jesus. Good job. Now, what are these things at the end of our hands that I'm wiggling right now? Are they fingers? Can you make your fingers wiggle, wiggle, wiggle like this as well? And how about you go around and you tickle your mummies and daddies and your brothers and sisters? Because we're going to sing, I have fingers that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ready? I have fingers that wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. I have fingers that wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. I have fingers that wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Well done everyone. Now, I need you to stand up and I want you to be really, really tall. Can you be really, really tall for me? When you're really, really tall, do you stand on your feet or, in fact, do you go on your toes? <gasps> you do go on your toes, don't you? And when we're on our toes, we can be really quiet. Shh. So let's see if you can walk on your tippy, tippy toes quietly around the room. Ready? I have feet that tippy tippy toe. I have feet that tippy tippy toe. I have feet that tippy tippy toe. They were made by Jesus. Good job everyone. Now I think it's time that maybe we talk to Jesus. So we can talk to Jesus in many ways. But Jesus likes when we come and kneel down for him. So let's sing the end of our song as we're going to pray. I have knees that bend by my chair. I have hands that fold in prayer. I have eyes that shut so tight that I talk to Jesus. Good job, everyone. Now, hands together, eyes closed. And let's talk to Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you look after us. Thank you that you keep us safe. Thank you that you love us and you protect us in all that we do. Please be with us, Lord. Help us to have a good Sabbath and a good week. And that we have wonderful times with our mummies and daddies and our brothers and sisters and anyone else we're with at this time. Thank you, Father, that all that you do for us in your name I pray. Amen. What a lovely prayer. Well done, everyone. Let's time to stand up. It's time to sing our next song. Now, I wonder what the weather's like today. How do we find out what the weather's like? I know. Could someone go to their window and have a look? I wonder if it's raining or sunny or windy or snowing. What's the weather like today? I hope it's very nice weather where you are. But what if it's raining? Raining is sad. It means we can't go outside unless we put our welly boots on. But actually, rain is a lovely thing because what rain does is it waters the ground. It waters the plants. So we have pretty flowers fruits and vegetables, which of course we like to eat, don't we? So the rain is actually a sign of God's love. So let's sing, the raindrops fall with a pitter pitter pat. I want to see your 
raindrops falling with a pitter pitter pat showing God is love. Are you ready? The raindrops fall with a pitter pitter pat, pitter pitter pat, pitter pitter pat. The raindrops fall with a pitter pitter pat, showing God is love. Oh, good job! Rain is lovely, isn't it? And I love the pitter pitter pat that it makes as it falls. I think we should sing that song again. Are you ready with your raindrops? Ready with your raindrops? Let's sing. The raindrops fall with a pitter pitter pat, pitter pitter pat, pitter pitter pat. The raindrops fall with a pitter pitter pat, showing God is love. Good job, everyone. Even if the rain means we might have to stay indoors, it can actually do so many good things for the outside world. So the rain really does show God's love. Sometimes when it rains and there's sun at the same time, we can see something really beautiful in the sky with lots of pretty colours. Can you think what I'm talking about? What do you think it is? I think some of you might be right. It's a rainbow. Can you see the pretty colours of my rainbow? So many beautiful colours. God made all those colours in our rainbow. Isn't it gorgeous? Now we are going to sing a rainbow in the sky says God loves you. Now rainbows are very high up in the sky aren't they? They're way up in the sky. So I want you to put your hands in the air and wave them like this. Because we're going to sing, a rainbow in the sky says God loves you. And his promises are true. Ready with your hands in the air to make your rainbow? A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. A rainbow I bet your rainbows were so big and beautiful. Shall we do it again and make really big rainbows? Are you ready? A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. A rainbow in the sky says God loves you. And his promises are true. God put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he wouldn't ever flood the earth again. So whenever you see a big, beautiful rainbow, know that it shows God's love for us, that he wants to keep us safe. We've now come to the time where we come and bring our pennies for Jesus. Have you got your pennies ready? I've got mine ready right here, look. I've got my pennies ready and my penny pot. So I think it's time that you should go and get your pennies and your penny pot and we can do our offering together. Are you ready? Have you got your pennies? Then let's sing Hear the Pennies Dropping and come and bring your pennies for Jesus. Hear the pennies dropping. in your penny pot. Well I've put them all of mine in so I think I should put the lid on mine. There we go. And let's sing a prayer over our offering. We're going to sing thank you for the world so sweet. So hands together, eyes closed and let's sing. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you Well 
done. It's very good of you to come and bring your pennies for Jesus. Do you have a birthday this month? If you do, then stand up because we are going to sing you happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Birthday greetings today. May God bless you, we pray. Live for Jesus, my friend. God looked at the world he had made. It had been so beautiful in the beginning, but the people had become very wicked. Just a few people still loved and worshipped God. God decided that he would have to destroy the earth and start all over. God went to talk to his friend Noah, a good man, and one of the few who still loved and worshipped God. God told Noah, I have decided to destroy the earth because it is so wicked. I am going to send a big flood of deep water to cover all the earth, but I want to save those people who love me. Make a big boat so people and animals can go into the boat with you. God told Noah how to make the boat. Noah listened carefully to everything God told him to do. Then he obeyed and started building the boat that we call an ark. Building such a big boat was a big job, and it would take a long, long time. Noah needed help. Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, helped him. Other people helped too. They went into the forest and chopped down cypress trees. They cut the trees into long boards and made them very smooth. Then they began to fasten the boards together. Slowly, and bit by bit they put the boat together. Noah followed God's instructions very carefully. Noah's son stacked the last sack of grain with the other food inside the ark, then came to stand beside his father at the open door. Noah was quiet for a very long time. Finally he said, It is finished. We have done everything the Lord told us to do. Noah walked down the ramp. A small crowd of people had gathered around it. People often came to hear Noah tell about the coming flood, and then they would laugh and laugh and laugh. They called him a crazy old man. It's almost time, Noah said to the people. The ark is finished. The flood is coming. Come into the ark, Noah begged. Everybody laughed and laughed. Then. Suddenly someone shouted, Lions! Everyone turned to see. Two brown, strong lions walked toward the crowd. They had their eyes fixed on the ark. They walked right up the ramp and disappeared inside. Elephants! Someone shouted. Two big gray elephants trotted toward the ark. They also climbed the long ramp and disappeared inside. All that day, animals came into the ark. The crowd watched in silence. When the last animal was safely inside, Noah once again came to the door of the ark. This is your last chance, Noah pleaded. Please come inside and be safe. But no one moved. Noah turned away and walked quietly back into the ark. Then God himself shut the big door to the ark and sealed Noah's family and the animals inside. Noah, his wife, and his three sons and their wives rested safely inside the ark. So did the animals. For seven days they waited, and then the rain began, just as God said it would. Rain poured from the sky. It thundered onto the ark's roof. But Noah and his family, the people who loved God, they were safe. The rain poured down all day, 
every day. Soon water covered all the flat land, and the ark began to float. The rain continued to pour down, all day, every day, but everyone inside the ark was safe. Noah and his family thanked God for keeping His promise. Noah checked on the animals often. Some snored softly in their cages. They breathed slowly in and out, in and out. Others nibbled on the food God had told Noah to put into the ark. How much longer is it going to rain? Asked one of Noah's sons. It feels as if it's been raining forever. Noah smiled. For forty days, he answered. God said that it would rain for forty days. But don't worry, forty days is not forever. And still the rain poured down, all day, every day. Finally, water covered the tops of the very tallest mountains. No land could be seen. Then God stopped the rain. It had rained for exactly forty days, just as God had promised. Slowly, the water began to go down. One day, the ark bumped the side of a mountain, and that's where it settled. Noah waited for many, many days. Then he sent out one of the black ravens. The big bird soared across the water, but it found no place to land and rest, so it came back to the ark. Seven days later, Noah sent one of the doves free, but it found no place to land either, so it flew back to the ark. Noah waited seven more days. Then he let the little dove out again and watched it fly away. And Noah waited. He waited and he watched. Finally, the dove returned to the ark. This time, it had an olive leaf in its beak. Things are beginning to grow again! Noah exclaimed. Seven days later, Noah sent the dove free once more. This time, the little bird did not return. Then Noah knew that the waters had dried up. Finally, God said to Noah, "It's time. It's time to leave the ark." So God sent an angel to open the heavy door. The animals thundered down the ramp. Horses kicked up their heels as they ran. Kangaroos bounced happily back and forth. Eagles soared and lions roared. Noah and his family felt happy and sad at the same time. God had kept his promise. So Noah built an altar and gathered his family around it. They thanked God for keeping His promise to save them from the terrible flood. They praised God for His protection. God gave Noah's family a special blessing. Then God gave them a promise. I am making a promise to you and to all who come after you. Even though the rain will fall, I will never again destroy the whole world with a flood. Look into the sky, and you will see the sign of my promise. Noah and his family looked up. A brilliant rainbow stretched across the heavens. They had never seen anything like it before. It was brilliant with reds and oranges and yellows and greens and blues and violet. Whenever you see the rainbow in the clouds, God said, "You can be sure that I will keep my promise." We've now come to the time in our program where we say our memory verse together. Have you learnt your memory verse for this month? You have. Oh, you're so good. I'm so proud of you. How about we learn our memory verse together for all those that don't know it yet? Okay. Our memory verse this week is I. I written in red. Will. Will written in orange. Sing. Sing written in yellow. About, about written in green, the, the written in blue, lords, lords written in purple, love, love written in pink. And our memory verse this month can be found in Psalm eighty-nine, verse one. Psalm eighty-nine, verse one, written in grey. Good job, everyone! You learnt your memory verse. Why don't we say it together after three? One. Two, three. I will sing about the Lord's love. 
Psalm 89 verse 1. Let's say it again. I will sing about the Lord's love. Psalm 89 verse 1. Good job everyone, you've learnt your memory verse. I am so proud of you. Now I think it's time to all stand up and sing. I'm glad I learnt my memory verse. Are you ready? I'm glad I learnt my Well done, everyone. You've all learnt your memory verse. I have a very big question. How big is God? Can you show me how big God is? Is he this big? Is he this big? This big? He's even bigger than this? How big is he? This big? Oh wow, cause my God is so big. He's so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. That's amazing, isn't it? So I want you to make lots of space, make big, big space, cause we're gonna sing, my God is so big. Are you ready? My God is so big, so strong. bigger. I know you can be really big. Can you be even bigger? Can you show me? Oh wow, that's much better. Let's do this again. Are you ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong so big isn't he and the things that he does for us oh they're just amazing wow what a big god we have we had so much fun today in sabbath school didn't we we sang some songs we had a great story and we learned our memory verse so i think what we should do is we should close our sabbath school with a prayer so hands together eyes closed and let's talk to jesus and end our sabbath school dear heavenly father Thank you that we had so much fun in Sabbath school today, learning all about you and being able to be together even though we're apart. Thank you, Father, for all that you do and please continue to keep us safe and well until we meet again. In your name I pray, Amen. Our Sabbath school is over, let's sing, ready? Our Sabbath school is over and we are going to church. Goodbye. so good to see you all and I hope that you continue to remain safe and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye, God bless, bye bye.